Take a look at that. Here, the maker. And have your pick. What will it be today? No one could have desired such destruction. the time you like. Do come again. Are we truly trapped here, left to wander for all time? in these
Take a look at that. Have your pick. Any you like. Come again soon. depths of the world. My duty to share it. Yes, at last. With them, you can summon forth a rift of considerable power. This rift, born of the Wakestone's power, will guide you forward, Arisen. I fear there will be no returning to this place. Are you prepared to journey on? End this, Arisen. May the world be put right by your hand. time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you've faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. Yes, fight to risen, as you e'er have fought in coming here. What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? What sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask. What is it that makes you alive? Tis volition, unbending will. You are here because you will, it arisen. That alone has brought you here. Just as you call forth horns, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth, the unbending reality of a world without compassion. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the pawns. 
without volition there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Let us continue! Show that you are more than an empty vessel, animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere pork. Show that your will is fit to bind the fraying center of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now. Cling to life. Show that living hope is worth enough to fight for. It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours arisen. Yours alone. Tis a simple choice arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Put an end to it. Praises of the quiet life are sung far too infrequent. <laughs> That's a might harsh, I. Eh? noble one, you. <laughs> You're not without a home to return to. I... What is it drives you so? Why is this hesitation, sir? You ought to protect, do you not? This, this is your answer. I will beg you rest a while. But just as like turn death in. Instead, I ask only that you keep us in mind. You seem to have elected me for some, I could not follow. You are close now. So very close to me. Come, Rosie. I shall meet you on your own terms, joined by my own companions of all. You stand now and its end arisen. See your journey through. To be victorious, but dead. It repeats upon itself that all the world may be So the cycle continues. It repeats upon itself. That all the world. The soul is 
waits upon itself that all the world may be peaceful. And so the cycle continues. upon itself. So the cycle continues. It's a fight. It repeats upon itself that all the world may be people. So It's a 
fight in those men. It repeats upon itself that all the world may be And so the cycle continues. Repeats upon itself that all the world. So the cycle continues. Are we even hurting? It repeats upon itself that all the world may repeat with it. And so the cycle continues. Forever. It repeats upon itself that all the world may repeat with it. And so the cycle continues. That all 
all the world may repeat so Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Present you with the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now. Vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. Even we who traverse the rift do not ken what lies beyond. I've no words to offer you, Arisen. New crown sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the God's Bane Blade. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. New crown sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the God's Bane Blade. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. My knowledge, as my all, is yours to take. What would you hear of me? Will is that which led you to this place, and that which turns the eternal wheel of the world. Along the endless string of life and death, there are some born with a hunger. They yearn for some other, better place. They are the Arisen, nascent fountainheads of will. And so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the Arisen, and refine them, to temper their wills into aught capable of sustaining the world. And so the cycle of our world has ever. New crown sovereign and keeper. The fire, if there is aught, my knowledge. The seneschal is steward to the world. The world you traveled now rests in your care. Just as the arisen calls Pon into being and sets them to motion, the seneschal holds dominion over all living things. There are those who would call such a being maker or god. I cannot deny the claim any more than affirm it. In the end, they are but words. Call it what you will. Such is the office I have served, just as those before me and you beyond unto eternity. A strong will is needed to sustain the world, and one stronger still to end it. Speak your mind, Master. New crown sovereign, Dick. If there is aught, my knowledge 
as my own. The pawns exist astride the rift. They speak of a multitude of worlds, each infinite unto itself. Limitless in span and lost to time, these worlds extend in an eternal, perfect loop. Just as a ring lacks start and end, so this world has no origin, no final terminus. If it does, they lie beyond arc. We are prisoners of unpassing time, wandering an unending land. What lies beyond, we cannot know. What meaning do words hold now, in the face of all this? New crown, Sovereign. The fact if there is all, my knowledge, as my all, is yours to tell by. There is life in the world, and with it death. Naught lasts forever. Each rises and falls in its time. But such is a death akin to that of Pons. They appear in this world and vanish, only to appear again, like bubbles in a mountain spring. As so it is with all that lives within this eternal world. In time, you will come to see it happen under your watch. Each beast, each blade of grass, each human life is born to die and be born again in endless rhythm. Not lasts forever. Yet all persists unto eternity. I've New no crowns. If, if there is aught you wish to know. Mourn me not. For I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity. Of infinity. Free of the cruel, unending ring. Like me, aren't you? As my grandmother gave me life, she gave you yours. They gave us death, and with it, true life. This is the world she wanted for us.
Yeah.